Now to that heartbreaking story out of Brooklyn, a trip to the Ikea in Red Hook, ending with the death of a nine-year-old with autism. Hasibil Nahan loved water, and that's why he may have gone straight for the Erie Basin behind the store. He had been playing with his siblings in the store's play area when his family lost track of him last night. A desperate search followed, ending in a painful discovery. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlos spoke to the boys. Devastated family and is live in Red Hook with more. Anthony. David, Sandra, there's almost an eerie feeling being back out here today behind this Ikea and near the waterfront only hours after that little boy's body was recovered here at the water's edge. And yes, we spoke with that family. It goes without saying his mother is a wreck. She now has to live with that guilt, and there is no second chance in this story. A grief-stricken mother clutches on to her nine-year-old son's Crocs. It's all she has left to hold on to. Recovered from the scene of his drowning along with his body, of all the inconsolable feelings, the worst is guilt. Flowers sit near the waterfront behind the Red Hook Ikea, where the family took nine-year-old Hasibul Nihan shopping last night. He likes to see the toy, he likes to see the river, he likes Ikea food. That's why I take him. Abida Sultana lost sight of her son in the big furniture store as it got ready to close. The boy, who had autism and was nonverbal, was playing with his siblings and wandered off. Last seen on security footage exiting the back of the store that borders the Erie Basin. The only barrier, a short fence. Drones, canines, divers, all part of a massive hours long search that ended just after midnight in tragedy. They went to the emergency room. They tried everything. It didn't work. Nihon's lifeless body found at the water's edge. His brother says he loved being by the water. I used to have so much fun with him even though he was autistic. He, I loved him. I'm gonna miss him. And police say that Nihon made his way out of the back of the Ikea here. As you can see, it's really only a short distance to the waterfront. Police say that they uh, interviewed the uh, boy's family, but there is no criminality here. This is really a tragic accident, but never mind a crime. The pain that that mother, that family now has to live with, enough of a sentence.